All right, this is a very simple question. I guess this is one of the past year question also. Uh, okay, because the student actually sent this question to me and then she, uh, he said he actually cannot understand uh, the part A. So I decided to make a very, very short video about this one. I guess I can finish in just two minutes or three minutes. Okay, but, but I try to explain to make you understand about the diagram things. All right, so, okay, over here, you have the di diagram one show the composite function of uh, GF, there's map, x to 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 z all right so x to y y to z and then the whole process is gfx okay for gfx something you have to understand is basically gfx means what mean you substitute fx into gx okay i will say again maybe i write it out mean you substitute fx into gx so if you substitute fx into gx what will happen is the process you actually will have fx first, then only you will be gx. Okay, this is something a lot of students will be quite struggling because when the student trying to do this kind of question, what the student will will, will got wrong is other student normally will say this is gx and then this is fx, which is wrong because gfx means substitute fx into gx. So therefore, we know that the first process should be f, then only g even is actually right gfx so you always know the term at the back here is the first process then this one is second so let's say i have gfh so basically i will substitute h into the f then only i go into the g all right this is the whole idea about the function this one means substitute hx into the gf gfx and then substitute the f into the things again uh. but i don't think you will see that three term one in your spm or ig exam anytime soon all right so if you can get the idea because the question normally says state state means you don't need to do working you just need to write the answer because it's just one one mark for each okay so state the function map x to y so x to y we know is fx so we just say if fx why I will use x here? Because this value is x. Huh? Because sometimes the question can trick you. Yeah, they will say maybe this is m to y, so you have to write something like fm. All right. So, and then the next one is inverse. What happens to inverse? Okay, inverse basically it just means going backward, going opposite direction. So if I have g inverse z, that means that means z going backwards i will actually i will get y you see the z is actually going backward for g okay g actually will focus on g part only we will ignore about f first so g inverse basically so if we say g y basically i will get z so you can just imagine if i can move my g to the other side become inverse so g inverse z basically i will get back y also all right, so if the question asks about something like um, GFX, so that's mean they want to go F and then they go G. So that's mean you start from the X here, and then you go F, you go to Y, and then you go G, you go to Z. So the answer is just Z. All right, so yeah, you must get the idea on how to do this kind of question. So for example, I trying to give you more example uh, because this, uh, this diagram thing is quite important so let's say i will say f inverse y so f inverse y whenever you see inverse you know the diagram actually going backwards so that's mean it going backwards like this so f inverse this one is f inverse mean going backwards so y actually will give you x all right so i hope yeah this short, short video can make you understand better about the function diagram anyways thanks for watching